Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick video showing how I do bed leveling on my Maker Gear M2. So bed leveling is a very critical part of 3D printing, especially if you don't have an automated bed leveler. This is uh, one of the more critical steps to getting a successful print. Most printers mechanically are all uh, decent as far as the hardware goes and it's just about getting the bed level correct to get a, a good 3D print. So this is the, a quick how-to on um, the steps I use to um, level my Maker Gear M2. So underneath um, the printer there's three screws kind of represented by the one, two, and three here. Um, and so if you have a Maker Gear you're, you're very familiar with these three screws. Now the first step you want to do is heat up the bed and your nozzle. So the reason I tell people to do this is because the expansion um, of the glass and any kind of expansion that the nozzle undergoes due to the increased temperatures needs to be accounted for as you do your bed leveling and before you start your print. I, uh, I ran into about a week of forgetting to do this and was wondering why my nozzle wasn't extruding material. Well that's because my nozzle was too close to the bed and it was clogging up. So uh, definitely heat up your nozzle and bed before you start your bed leveling. Next uh, I drew some numbers on this piece of paper. So this represents the steps that you want to go and adjust your nozzle height away from your um, bed. Um, again there's three screws under here, right about here. There's a screw here, screw under there, and a screw about there. So the first thing I do is I take my, um, my nozzle, I raise the bed up to it, and then I travel into the front left corner represented by number one. All right, and then I go underneath and adjust the corresponding number one screw. It's about right here. And I do the paper test. All I use is a piece of paper and I drag it like this. And I feel just slight resistance between the piece of paper and the nozzle. Just slight, you don't, you don't really need to be dragging this thing um, uh, too aggressively. You should just feel that there's a little bit of resistance there. Once I adjust my screw underneath with the, the Allen uh, key, I then travel back to number two, okay, the back left corner. I do the same um, process adjusting um, the corresponding number two screw, all right? So I adjust that one. So now that one and two have the same kind of resistance here, you've, you've accounted for your, your bed tilting like this, okay? Next, I travel my nozzle um, to the center of the bed and then all the way over to number three. Okay, and then I adjust number three again using the same paper and resistance method. You'll be able to play around with how much resistance works, but it should just be very slight. By this time, you're, again, your nozzle and bed are heated up and you're just um, adjusting it this way. So if you're using PLA and you don't need a heated bed, um, because you're using like blue tape or just printing on the glass, don't worry about heating up the bed for this process, okay? All right, so again, you're gonna go to number three and you're gonna use the same method, adjust the screw that corresponds to number three. Now, by the time you've adjusted number three, you, you're playing with this motion here. So any kind of motion on the left, you can see uh, I'm sorry, any kind of uh, adjustment at number three, you're moving screws one and two at the same time. So if you need to raise your bed up at number three, you're doing this. Well, now you've just lowered one and two. So this is the, the time that you try to split the difference between the two. And uh, so you'll do the, the test at number three. And this is why I put a four over here, because you're going to travel the nozzle all the way over to number four. And by that time, you'll, you'll notice that either the bed is too close to the nozzle or too far away from the nozzle. So simultaneously, or uh, I go and take screws at one and two 
and adjust them equal amounts. And then again, travel back to number three, adjust it, go to number four. I change screws at one and two at the same amount and then go back and forth. So I just play a game between these two, three and four. I just keep repeating until there's the same amount of resistance um, on the piece of paper. So you go to three, you adjust your screw, go to four and you adjust screws one and two. You don't travel to one and two, you just leave the nozzle at four and change the screws at one and two by the same amount, okay? So since one and two control this, all you're having to do is, making, is make sure that your plane is level in this direction. So that's the process I use, it works flawlessly for me. Um, hope, hopefully this works for you guys. Uh, when I was first starting out with 3D printing on this bed, I actually went and got a, uh, a digital readout here, an indicator. Um, had my friend print me a design that I came up with and uh, that I could mount this thing to here. But this this is really overkill. You don't need this. All, as, as far as accuracy goes, all you need is a piece of paper and understand the steps that you need to go through. So to summarize, you start with one, adjust your screw with your, with your paper tension, go back to two, do the same thing. Now you've got your bed set in this direction. Then you go to number three, you adjust it. So now you're starting to work on this direction and you keep passing the nozzle between three and four. You adjust at three, you move to four, and you adjust screws one and two. So do this, and it's gonna work every time. Again, don't forget to heat up the nozzle in the bed as you need to. Thanks, guys.